Hello, once again, and welcome to Five Questions with an ISHL team member. I am Jess Burke, Director of Marketing and Communications with the International Society for Heart and Lung Transplantation, and I am here today with Dr. Grant Turner. Good morning, Grant. Good morning. Um, well, before we dive into our five questions, I have sort of our first question, which is just tell us who you are, where you work, and what your role is with ISHLT. Yeah, uh, so my name is Grant Turner. I am starting a brand new job as a lung transplant fellow at the University of California in Los Angeles. Um, and my role in ISHLT is a member. I joined as a member during my Palm Crit Fellowship, um, actually when I was looking for transplant fellowships. That's awesome. Well, congratulations on the new position. Um, Thanks. So what drew you to ISHLT while you were um, getting started in the, in the field? So I knew that I wanted to join a society more specific than other societies on um, specifically lung transplant. And ISHLT actually had a, a list of potential lung transplant fellowship programs um, that was hidden behind a member wall. And I was like, oh, that'd be a really great way to, uh, great time to join as a member. And so I joined and then started getting lots of other resources and started getting um, the journals as well and realized that I should have probably joined earlier even. <laughs> that is a perfect testimonial. I may quote you on that. Perfect. Um, <laughs> so what inspired your career path? What made you choose pulmonology in the first place and then into lung transplantation? How did you get to where you are? Yeah, so I knew in med school that I wanted to do internal medicine and that I liked really sick patients. And I actually had a really um, interesting and eye-opening experience of a transplant patient that I had helped take care of on multiple rotations in med school um, when they were very, very sick and was actually able to then see them uh, when I came back for a visit during residency uh, in the grocery store. Just happened to be in the grocery store with my family and saw them and they were doing so well. Um, and that just reinforced how much I loved transplant. I knew that I really enjoyed pulmonary and critical care in residency as well. And so then starting fellowship, I had an inkling I wanted to do transplant, lung transplant as a career. And I uh, was able to work really closely with my mentor uh, and see a lot of patients and see that experience over and over again of people going from being very, very sick, getting a transplant and maybe having a rough course, but then ultimately ending up having a great outcome and knew that I wanted to do that as my career. That's fantastic. And I, I love the story of a patient starting, you know, the sickest of the sick and then shopping for groceries. It's kind of the journey that we imagined for them. Right. Um, so what's, I mean, that sounds like one of the first meaningful milestones for you, but is there another meaningful milestone either in your career or in your field that you'd like to share? Um, it's not necessarily transplant related, but something that I hope to bring a little bit more to um, lung transplant is looking at um, how LGBT um, issues are important to um, pulmonary care and subspecialty care. Uh, and our group, my mentor and I got an article published um, in uh, a different journal on uh, how to take care or how best to take care of patients uh, transgender patients or gender minority patients with a pulmonary complaint. And my hope then moving forward is to try to incorporate that into lung transplant and finding ways to take care of patients who are potentially gender minorities or um, have specific needs beyond the, the typical patient. Yeah, I don't know if you were at the annual meeting this year, we had a session, uh, a, a symposium session on this topic, and there was some conversation around different gender identities. It's a wonderful field for us to focus on. Right. Um, so when you think about the future of your specialty, what do you see on the horizon? I know you're talking a little bit about, you know, the right kinds of patient care. What else do you see in the future? One of my big hopes for the future of transplant is finding ways to um, help with social determinants of health. I think that we're all finding that those are really important and maybe had not learned about them as much as we had hoped in the past and um, weren't focusing on them as much. And hopefully moving forward, we can find ways to make patients who have those issues specifically related to social determinants of health and ameliorate them so that they're able to get lung transplants or able to be better taken care of in general. 
um, because it is a field that is very difficult for us and something we didn't necessarily learn about in medical school. Um, I think that sort of intersects well with the future related to COVID-19 as well, that we're gonna have a lot of potentially long haul COVID-19 patients that will be coming to us looking for lung transplants. And we know that COVID-19 disproportionately affected people with um, lower socioeconomic status and um, different races. And so hopefully we'll be able to find ways to improve those sort of simultaneously. Absolutely, and it really feeds into the idea of treating the whole patient. Right. So when you're not saving lives and working on your fellowship and treating sick patients, what are you up to? What's your idea of a perfect weekend? My perfect weekend is trying to visit one of my friends somewhere in the United States, if possible, hopping on a plane and going and doing something fun, going to a concert, um, getting to actually see all of my uh, different colleagues and friends across the country. Uh, I would love to continue to start doing that now that things are getting better okay. countrywide. Concerts, I remember those. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Grant, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. I know you're starting a new position and just had a move, so your time is so appreciated. Is there anything else you want to share with the ISHLT community we haven't covered yet today? I don't think anything else, no. Well, we're so glad to have you with us and very excited to see what you get up to during your fellowship. Thanks for having me. <laughs>